Angel. Are you playing Bumblebee? Are you being nice? <laughs> Bumblebee and Charlie. Hard at play. Happy dogs. Hey, are you two happy? Hey, Charlie, are you a happy boy? Yeah? get too rough there you two now you've got me outside here with the dogs don't have my tripod today this is the 40th day in Lent so this is it the last one for 2023 our scripture comes from 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 I bet some of you have heard this one before so if anyone is in Christ there is a new creation Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. What does that sound like to you? As I'm watching Charlie and Bumblebee play, they're two very happy dogs, best friends. Uh, they make a mess in my backyard, but <laughs> well, you know, I guess we're raising dogs, not grass. But uh, the scripture reminds me about being new in Christ. I've, I've seen videos, too many videos of well, in this case, dogs who have been abused or neglected and um, they get rescued by a, you know, a new loving owner. And the video begins by showing how withdrawn and, and uh, nervous and scared the, the dog is. Often their hair is matted or, you know, just disheveled in a, in a real mess. And then little by little, as they become comfortable with their owner and the owner shows them that that they're safe and this is a good place you see them starting to break out of their shell and pretty soon they're running and playing and happy and the tails wagging and <laughs> there's something there's well there's new life in them it's a heartwarming it isn't just dogs of course so many so many of so much of creation is abused the animals of course trees forests lakes seas we take advantage of so much. Horses, donkeys, cats, birds, uh, so much of that. I think of all that when I think of this new Christ, uh, Christ coming within us and we become new again, a new in some way. As the, the theology goes, we, we become porous as we get to know who Jesus is. And by porous, we're open. And soon Christ comes within us and we become Christified in Christ. And we become a new person too. Now, that doesn't mean before Christ enters us that we're sad and moping and withdrawn and unhappy people. We could be very happy people. But being one in Christ, having Christ come within us, it draws us to come alongside people who are making a difference in the world. Difference to their neighbors, difference to strangers, difference in the lives of those um, in need. You know, even the difference of the lives of those that we meet Sunday morning in church. We can have a perfectly good life, but when we come together in church, it's something new. I hope the wind isn't being too hard on the, the sound here. I, I can't tell. Uh, but there's something about being Christified, about becoming one in Christ that, that gives us a new kind of life, a new way to see the world, the new way to see not just God, not just Jesus, not just the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Trinity, but each other, even strangers, even enemies. Well, that's what I'm thinking about on this last 40th day in Lent. I hope you are able to get out and see some of this wonderful day. Let's pray. Holy God, we give thanks for this day. And we give thanks for those who make a difference in the lives of those things of creation that have been abused harmed help us to be the help that can bring them back into new life new life in you new life in this world and this we pray amen well the sun is shining a little bit of wind not too bad uh, it's below zero right now and i'm out here in a t-shirt or a shirt that my wife just told me was way too tired to be on video but well i forgot <laughs> have a great 40th day in land and i really hope to see you tomorrow tomorrow is sunday and we know what's happening tomorrow